this revival. When you hit too much, he doesn't want me to say it. <laughs> I'm going to say it. When you overheat, a lot of food is here. God bless America. Somebody say, God bless America. God bless America. Say, God bless America. God bless America. Oh, yes. Lots of food here. If you want burger, it's available. If you want a uh, taco, whatever taco, it's available. <laughs> want to slice it, it's available. Everything is available here. Oh, God bless this country. It's a country that people need to come and a lot of opportunities are here in this country. Nobody is out or your bad nobody is restricting you, you can succeed in this nation. Somebody say, we make it. Amen. And we succeed. I will succeed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. But there is a tendency to overeat in this country. Two thirds of the entire nation is obese. Well, overweight. Much. You need fire of God. You can fast. And not fast because the pastor did not call for fast. You don't have pastor time to fast and pray anymore. You got to eat. I need bread. I need egg. I need to take my coffee. You need deliverance. <laughs> and then time you eat, you know. You say, I have to eat like a man. <laughs> you have to eat like a man. You know the way man eat? There's something here, another thing here, some salad here. Have you gone to, <laughs> go to a restaurant? You know, this restaurant is just wonderful. It's only here. I discovered that when you get there, before you, before you eat the main meal, you have to eat what do you eat? Appetizer. Appetizer is even no food. You will eat that one, then you will bring another meal, big one. And that's why I don't like going to uh, this uh, double tea diner. I'm not against that. It's too much food. Then you bring it here. So after the food, you will now take a dessert. Is it dessert now? You consume everything. <laughs> you need to be delivered. <laughs> <laughs> when some people go to law, you can, you know, this uh, go live for her. You get there, you eat everything. You eat and eat and you go to, to the restroom, you come back again. <laughs> In between me, you are going to restroom. Oh, Jesus, help us. A Christian that is revived, I'm not saying you should not eat, he will eat in moderation. He will take things easy. <coughs> He's not living for his stomach. His belly is not his God. Some people have made their belly their God. They walk for their belly, they live for their belly, and go to eat, and go to eat. If I don't eat, I will be shaking. Shake! <laughs> you fall down, shake! I got to eat, I got to have my coffee. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. The Bible said, Jesus speaking. He said, Man shall not live by bread alone. It is a man must not eat at all. But he must not be living just for bread. You just eat and eat and eat and die. I reject that in Jesus' name. Amen. There are better things to live for. You've got to live for God. Say man must not live by bread alone, but by every word that come out of the mouth of God. You live for God. You live by God. You live through Him. Amen. You can no longer fast. You can wait on God. Because you got to eat. Some people are just glutonious. They eat too much. You know, gluttony is a sin. Hallelujah. When you eat too much, more than necessary, you are sinning. Somebody said, I will control my belly. 
My belly will not be my God. Touch your belly and see I'm in charge of this belly. I'm in charge of this. I tell you it when to eat, when not to eat. My belly does not control me. I'm in charge of this belly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every child of God here should not drink beer. If you are drinking beer, you are a drunkard. It's not the will of God. Don't be drinking beer if you are just, you know, I've got to have my belly. That's why your, your belly is just for belly. Beer. You are like you're a man that is pregnant. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say, God revive us. God us. Look at this. Proverbs 23, verse 21. Proverbs 23, verse 21. It says, For the drunkard, drunkard, and the glutton shall come to poverty. Oh, they will come to poverty. When all you know how to do is to eat, you will use all your money, no savage, no city. There can't, there can't be any majesty and you have something to bring out. Because you have to use everything to eat. May God deliver us in Jesus' name. Amen. And the book of Romans chapter 14, verse 17 says, Romans 14, verse, verse 17 says, The kingdom of God is not meat and drink. The kingdom of God is not in meat and drinking. It is in righteousness, in peace, and joy. In the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So if you are eating too much today, you will receive anointing to become moderate eater in Jesus' name. Amen. Anointing for moderate eater. Okay, number six, because of time. When you begin to talk too much, you need revival. Everywhere you just talk, 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 talk. You are not talking about God. You are not evangelizing. You are not proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. You are just talking about people. You need deliverance. You are gallows. You are loquacious. You are talkative. You talk too much. Every day a child of God should not be talking too much. You will leak out anointing because your mouth is leaking. You have papa diarrhea. You got to talk. You talk about things you know. You talk about things you don't know. Things you don't have idea about. You begin to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And that's why you can't pray. You get to the church, you can't even pray. Because you have used all your energy to talk. Do you know there is strength in quietness? The Bible says, quietness shall be your strength. You need to tame your tongue. Don't talk about anybody. Pray for people. People need prayer. People you are talking about, they have issues. Generally, people have issues, and that is why we need to pray. If you can't pray for them, then stop talking about them. Don't make a bad situation worse by talking about them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Talking about you, be on the phone. Carry phone, and you be on the phone for three hours. What are you talking about? You are sinning. And the Lord will deliver us in Jesus' name. Amen. A man that has no fire is a man that talks too much. He's a man that has no control of his mouth, no control of his tongue. He can 